What's up, everybody? I'm Rita Sekali, and you guys, in today's gospel, we see Jesus, and he's telling us about uh, this prudent servant, that when his master comes back, he's actually doing his job. But if you read the gospel without the correct tone, it could sound like something very harsh, right? There's, you have to be uh, fully alert that, you know, if there's a thief that comes in, you have to be fully alert so that it doesn't, he doesn't take over. If the master comes in, it sounds very much authoritative. But think about it in a different sense. When someone you love asks you to do something, you do it out of love for that person. So when God asks us to do something, it's not because we should be afraid of him. At least he comes in the middle of the night like that thief in the story or that master, somewhere we have to fear. We really have to think about it in terms of love. We know that God is love. We know that he loves us so much that he sent his only begotten son into the world so that he can save us. So when he gives us these, his commands and he says, hey, do this, we're to do this because we love him, not because we're afraid of him, because fear holds contempt and it causes us to, to feel this ugly feeling within us, this resentment towards the person we're afraid of, especially if they are commanding us to do something or asking us to do something. Whereas love, love casts out fear. Love changes things and it gives the relationship between us and God a whole new meaning. And it allows us to understand that God's love for us is the driving force behind everything that we do and everything that he asks of us. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, give us grace to love you truly and not be afraid of you. Give us the grace to be united with you in that love and that sweetness so that everywhere we go, people look and wonder and ask, why are you filled with so much love? And we can turn around and say, hey, Jesus loves me and he loves you too. Amen.